Hi everyone, this is Mark Rep, Technology Trainer of Port Huron Schools, and today I'm going to update one of the most popular videos I've ever recorded, and that is a video called Sharing a Contact Group in Gmail. And the reason why I'm providing an update for this is because when you use Google products, you have to expect updates to be handed out regularly. And that's exactly what has happened with Gmail and the Contacts app, the Calendar, and many more products made by Google. What I'm going to show you today are some of the changes that have been made in the Contacts. For example, if I go back to Gmail, right now I have my Gmail open, it used to be that you could just click right here in this top left corner area and toggle back and forth between your contacts and your Gmail. Well, now you can't do that. Instead, you have to come up here to the Apps Launcher, the Google Apps button. Some people call it the waffle. When you click on it, now you have to go to the Contacts app. And it'll probably be down here toward the bottom. Uh, you can just click on it and drag it wherever you want it to be. I like mine right here at the top. So now Contacts is an app, and when you click on it, you now have your Contacts as a separate app and a separate tab. So my email is here, my Contacts are now in a separate tab right over here. So what I'm going to show you today is how to export a contact group, which is now known, as you can see, as a label. So these are my labels right now. Uh, since I work for a school district, I have several different buildings that I have labels for. These used to be called groups. And so what I'm going to do today is share my building with other people who are members of that building. So I'm going to share the entire organizational group. And I'm going down to this particular group right here called the McKinley Administration Group. And I'm going to click on that so it is highlighted. And now as I scroll down a little further down, you'll notice towards the bottom, you'll have a button that says More. So the More button has actually been moved from the top middle down here toward the bottom left. So what you'll do is click on the More button, and then you'll have the option to Export. And since I highlighted that particular group, I'm going to click Export. And now you'll notice that it'll allow me to export the contacts from the highlighted group. And I can export it as a Google CSV, an Outlook CSV, or a V card for the iOS operating system. I'm going to choose Google CSV because I'll be using this in Gmail. And so I'm going to click Export. Now it allows me to choose where I would like to save it. And I'm going to save it to the desktop. And I'm also going to give it a name. So I'll just call it McKinley Contacts. I'll click Desktop and I'll click Save. Now a tip within a tip, you probably wondered why it didn't just automatically save it to my downloads. I'll show you a little trick that I uh, like to use when it comes to saving things. I like it to ask me where I want to save it. So I'm going to click on the three dots right up here. This is the Customize and Control Google Chrome button. And I'll come down to Settings. I scroll way, way, way down and there's a section under the Advanced button, I'll click Advanced, and scroll even further down, way down here, to where it says Downloads. This is the Downloads section. And I click right here where it says, Ask where to save each file before downloading. I click on that, turn it on, and then it will always ask you where you would like to download something to. So where would you like to store it? The desktop, for example. And now I have saved my Google Contact group. So to create a new label, you'll scroll down towards the very bottom, and you'll notice that it says right here, Create Label. And this is how you make a new label. So click on it, give it a name. I'm going to call this new label Parents 2019. Now that I've created the parent label, I'm going to add a parent to that label. So I'm going to select this particular person who is a parent and add her to the parent's label. We're going to go to the far right of this contact and you'll see a three dotted button that says More Actions. Click on that three dotted More Actions button and now it will reveal all of your labels. So what I'm going to do is move her to the parent's label by clicking on it. And now you'll notice that it has added a check mark right next to that label. And now she's added to that label or group. If I'd like to add her to another one, I could do that as well. Maybe I'd like to add her as a secretary. I can click 
and she's now a parent and a secretary. She's the member of two different groups. And now when I click on Parents 2019, you'll see that she's been added to the Parents 2019 label. And she'll also be part of those other labels as well. So now I've shown you how to add someone to another label, or multiple labels, and now I'm going to email this shared group and send it to someone as an email attachment. And there you go. I'm going to attach it by clicking on the paperclip, navigate to my desktop, find the McKinley contacts, there they are, open it, and now it's attached to the email, and I'll click Send. And now I jump over to my other account, and here's what it'll look like to the person who receives it. There it is. I called it McKinley Contacts. I'm going to click on it. And now I'll download it by clicking on the arrow to download. The recipient will now have to navigate over to the Contacts app. And usually the Contacts app, if you haven't used it yet, is way down here, almost in a separate section. So you'll have to click and drag it up if you plan to use it regularly actually drag it all the way up to the top. There we go. And now if I click on Contacts, now to import this into my address book, we're going to come down, click on More, and this time instead of exporting, we're going to import it. So we'll click Import. You're going to select the file off of your desktop, because that's where we saved it. Click, and then Open. Now the last step is very important. You have to click Import. So we'll click Import. And now as I scroll down, you'll see it's imported. And there it is. Now if I click on it, there are my contacts. If you don't like the title, you can click on the pencil over here at the right, and you can change the name. And now you know how to export a contact group, now known as a label. You know how to attach it to an email, and if you receive a contact group, you now know how to import it into your contacts, which are now found in the Google Apps button as a separate app. Hopefully you found this video helpful. Thanks for joining me. I'm Mark Rep. Bye for now.